Hey there, I'm Justin Burns and I'm a golden working artist for Golden Artist Colors. And today I'm actually gonna be showing you this kind of cool project. Um, it's kind of based on the work that I do, which is I work on multiple transparent layers, which if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna explain. I'm actually gonna show you how to do a project. Um, but actually, um, I do a lot of work with uh, graphics um, products, which they make a lot of films and plastics and things like that. And um, they make a lot of great materials for art and a lot of different surfaces. So. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with a clear Duralar. So here's um, just kind of the package of the Duralar. It comes in like a, you can buy a hundred pack. Um, you can buy it in rolls and sheets. Um, it comes in a mat. It comes in clear. They also have a white plastic that just came out called Durabrite. And then they have other products that they come out uh, with as well. But what we're going to be working on is this clear um, Duralar right here. So I've got some examples of some student works that I've done in the past or we're basically just taking something two-dimensional and pushing it more three-dimensional. So here's an example of some student work where if you can kind of see all the layers here. So he used foam. There's also stuff called uh, 3DOs, which I'm gonna be using uh, to separate each layer. But there's a lot of different things you can use to separate each layer. But this is just one example. And then here's another one that um, we took the idea from Mark Bradford, who's a artist that does a lot of like mapping and things like that. And we took all these different maps, layered them, and then I had my kids make this really cool layered map project as well. And then same project, just different approach where this student took, actually, if you see this kind of like fozzy, foggy background, um, it's actually a matte duralar, which kind of has a kind of, of a cool haze to it if you put it over a painting. So it's kind of a neat little trick just to kind of, you know, change up a little bit. So um, I'm actually, all I'm really using is just clear sheets of Duralar, some golden fluid paint. You can use high flow. High flow is a little bit thinner viscosity. This is a little bit thicker. Heavy body is okay. That's all you have. You can use it. I kind of like the fluid a little bit better. Um, I'm actually going to be doing for this project a still life where I already set all the all the objects up. I took the picture and then I printed the picture off and we're just gonna kind of layer through the pictures. So basically we're kind of working from background all the way to middle ground and foreground. And you'll see that in, in the project of how it all kind of gets put together. So I'm gonna get set up and let's get started. All right, so this is the image I'm gonna be working with. So I'm doing a still life. So um, actually, I've got some Duralar on top of it, so that's why you got some little bit of light reflection on here right now. So I took a, set everything up and then took an image and then printed it off. And then I've got binder clips to help keep my Duralar in place and it's lined up on the corners here. And um, then like I said, I'm gonna be using golden fluid paints um, on this to and I'll adhere really well. Like I said, it's gonna level up pretty well and not leave too many um, peaks or valleys of the brush strokes. And so I'm about to get started on the first layer. So actually the first layer, I'm not gonna paint any of this stuff in the background. I'm just gonna do just maybe a solid background layer. Maybe I'll do a pattern later. So I'm gonna make one layer that's just going to be just a solid color first. And then, um, then I'm gonna start from the back here and then you'll see what I'll have to do. I'll, I'll actually add in parts um, and you'll see why here in a little while, while you still have to still kind of add things even though you may not see it because of those layers are gonna be coming up towards the, the viewer, okay? All right, so we're about to get started on this, on the first layer. All right, so I just paint, painted the background layer. Now we're gonna actually gonna start working on some of the objects. So I'm gonna do the um, this box here with the hand and some of the fabric and also this clock. And like I said, I'm actually gonna paint further down and just add if I could, if, basically if it's like, if you know what it looked like, um, you know, behind the hat, you just add a little parts because, and you'll see why once we start stacking the layers on top. So you kind of have to sometimes make up a couple of things for this to look, you know, really successful. So we're gonna start uh, with the box part first and then kind of work our way down and um, just do a few things for the first, uh, or I guess the second layer because we did a background layer. So that was, I guess, technically the second layer because I did, here's our background layer that we did that's gonna go behind. So if you wanna see what that looks like. So 
that's gonna be kind of nice. I like that Titan green pale color. Uh, so there's the background color with this, and then now I'm gonna set these to the sign, and we're gonna start on. Um, let's see. So I've got another clear sheet of Duralar um, on here. So I'm gonna be actually be painting the horse and the hat and the fruit, um, and then I'm gonna leave. Then that'll be the uh, third layer, and then the fourth layer will be the chicken and the wood and the, the pear. So. Um, so I'm just about to get set up and get started. got this is the second layer remember the first layer is the background layer I just finished the third layer which again like this is going to be kind of a distance away so I went ahead and painted part of the table on each side and this is going to float above here and then I'm going to work on the last layer um, which is going to be let me get this here which is already ready to go and it's going to be I'm going to be painting the little wood blocks and the chicken and the pear, and then we'll be done. And then we'll attach the little spacers, the little uh, 3DO spacers that will separate each layer to kind of give a little space between each one. All right, so here we go. So these four layers are finished. So I've got the back layer. So I've got gloves on because I just cleaned um, these surfaces so that I don't get any fingerprints on them. So there's one, two, three, four. So pretty good. I mean, you know, I feel like it's pretty decent what it looks like. So it's hard. Got a lot of reflection here. That's the only issue when you work with this stuff that you get a lot of reflection. So this looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is get those uh, 3DOs and then start putting those little spacers between each, each sheet to give it a more three-dimensional look. So I'm about to get that set up. So here's the final product. I actually mounted this on a cardboard that I just had kind of laying around. Um, here's those 3DOs, as you can kind of see between. Um, you can double up on the 3DOs if you wanted to uh, push this out a little bit further to give it more depth. Um, just to, you know, give, you know, just have fun with it and see what you can do with it. But so this was kind of a fun project to do. Like I said, you can do it for yourself if you want to, if you teach um, any kind of classes. This is a great, you know, lesson. Just again, taking something two dimensional and making it 3D. Uh, the work that I do, like I mentioned before, um, it's actually really large, and I, I actually buy Duralar in large sheets and cut them. And uh, my work gets has a lot of depth to it. And um, actually I actually do this a lot with airbrush. Sometimes I'll come in hand paint as well. But again, it's just another way of doing art a little bit differently, pushing it maybe in a different direction, and just seeing where it goes. So I hope you had fun. Um, and again, I hope that either you can use this for yourself or for um, in your classroom.